This topic is being brought to you by popular demand. I've gotten asked every day for the last month, do you merge the images in your brain while running your dual band system? Now, after getting a dual band system, most people will expect to see this, but they will actually see this. So how does a dual band system actually work? Now, I want to answer that question on record to help you all in your dual band journey. If you already have your own dual band system, this can possibly help you in your attempts to get your system working perfectly for you. We want you to have the best experience possible while you're out in the darkness LARPing with the boys. It's pretty safe to say there's not a soul on this planet that can successfully overlay both their night vision and thermal into one image in their mind. I've been doing this for the last two years and I've talked to hundreds of people running these setups and I have yet to find someone that can merge both night vision and thermal in their brain from two separate devices. Let's rewind back a couple years to the first time I ever looked through both a PVS-14 and a thermal mounted on one bridge. I started off with the expectation of merging both images in my brain. Boy, was I wrong. Not only was I seeing two of the same thing, within five minutes of the first time I ever wore that MH25 and PVS-14 beside each other, I had a headache and I was extremely disappointed. I had been looking at and dreaming about this exact setup for months and I wanted it to work so bad. I was disgusted to have gotten a headache so quickly from wearing both devices. So I quit. I went to bed. I thought about it the whole next day, and I wasn't about to give up on it. When darkness came on the second night, I quickly threw the helmet back on and stepped outside to try and figure it out again. If I'm going to see two of the same thing, that means I can't look through both devices at the same time. So I started out that second night by closing one eye and opening the other to successfully switch back and forth between devices without getting a headache. This worked for about an hour that second night until my brain fatigued to the point where I quit again. I thought to myself, that was better. I lasted longer that time and I was moving in the right direction. The third night, I decided to take the dual band system out fox hunting. And this is when it started getting cool. About halfway through the night, all of a sudden I realized that I wasn't closing one eye anymore to ignore one of the two devices. What helped the most is when I discovered how the gain control on the PVS-14 helped my brain switch back and forth. By turning down the gain, my brain could successfully switch from my right eye, which is my dominant eye, to my left eye to look through the thermal. Keeping the PVS-14 dimmer than the thermal screen allowed my brain to focus with my non-dominant eye. Switching back and forth was still a slight struggle, but I was getting it done and forcing myself to jump between the two units successfully, sometimes occasionally reverting back to closing one eye if I needed to. I had no headache, no brain fatigue after three to four hours of running around in the dark with the setup. Now two years into running strictly dual band systems in the darkness, I can run for five plus hours straight with the system and not get a headache or brain fatigue. The first thing that I notice fatigue after five plus hours is my neck. And that is strictly an aspect of the extra weight on my head. My biggest piece of advice to somebody just starting out with a dual band system is to make sure that you start with the proper expectations of the system. Don't make the same mistake that I did and try to look through both devices your first night out. Start with one eye closed and force your brain to use your non-dominant eye by closing your dominant eye. By doing this, you're training your brain to be able to use your non-dominant eye as your dominant eye. If you've never done this before, it may be quite difficult to teach yourself to do it after a lifetime of solely using your dominant eye to look at things. Right now there's a shooter in Maine that is supposedly on the loose and there's a whole lot of open territory and woodland up in Maine. If you guys don't know, you should look into that. Maine is a massive state. People are checking for this dude. So having a piece of gear like the RH-25 is a great way for you to have capability to be able to defend yourself, your property, and your community. So when disaster strikes, no matter what it is, having a capable 
thermal unit like the RH25 is a solid move. And right now, for a limited time, they are $1,000 off. So get on it. Link in the description has all of the details. Are there going to be hurdles with your dual band system? Possibly, yeah. But anybody that says they can't function with a dual band system, in my personal professional opinion, is just being weak. Take the time to train through the difficulty. Take the time to force yourself to overcome the difficulties found the first time you put on a dual band system. If you force yourself through this process, I promise on the backside, you're going to come out substantially farther ahead than somebody that's only running binocular night vision. Having both spectrums mounted on one bridge in front of both eyes is hands down the strongest nighttime superpower you can buy. There's so much that goes on in the darkness that you won't ever know is happening right in front of you if you only have night vision. Take the time, train through the adversity, and on the backside, you're gonna be more efficient than someone that only has night vision. If you're considering getting into a dual band system, I hope you found this video helpful. If you used a dual band system before, I wanna hear about your experience with a dual band system in the comments. If there is somebody out there that does successfully merge the images in their brain, please let us know. We want to know if this is possible for anyone out there, or if merging two totally different images in the brain is truly impossible from two different devices. Feel free to email us anytime. It's cs at arcane.com. Or if you want to talk to me directly, my direct line can be found on our site across multiple different product pages. Shoot me a text. Let's figure out a time to talk one-on-one -on -one about what's going to serve you best in the darkness.